Hey, Martin from The Amazing Web here. So today we will be coding um, a simple ribbon. So um, let's first create simple diff. That will be our ribbon. Um, I'm using CodePen. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. Um, in case you haven't, just go to codepen.io. There you can yeah, uh, build little code snippets and share them with the community and find other code um, examples and it's quite nice. So, actually I love it. <laughs> um, our ribbon, okay, we need the glass of ribbon and Let's say it's 50 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall and has a background color of, let's say, oh, that's, that's not, ah, okay. You can just choose a color here. Um, that's a nice gimmick, but I'm not exactly sure how you invoke it. Sometimes it's there and sometimes not. So um, this is a basic shape of our ribbon. And we will need this to be position relative. So we can um, position our little triangles at the bottom. So, for the sake of beauty <laughs> or left radius, I'm not sure exactly if this is a, or a top left right. Ah, it worked. Um, I often mix up the order of the top and left. Or, uh, Right radius. Okay. So what's next? Um, I'm using SCSS. You can define that here. And this means we can do something like that. So this basically means the same as class of ribbon after class of ribbon before. But it's much nicer to write it this way and let the CSS compile into CSS, which CodePen does behind the scenes. So, okay, uh, I just did a short save because the layout got messed up. Okay, back to this CSS. Um, we need the content is needed to be nothing. So the after and before elements actually show up and we will need those two to create two little triangles so that this shape looks kind of like a ribbon. Um, both have width and height of zero. Mm, and that's basically it. So one triangle on the left, let me think for a moment. So let's now up color. Or a top is transparent, 15 pixel.
and water bottom too. And we position it at the right of zero and bottom of minus 10 pixels. Okay. Ah, I forgot. Position, position, absolute. That's the important thing here. Okay. So, let's say these are 20, then we position uh, man triangles. <laughs> Just a mess. Okay, so here we go. Um, what we did here is okay, I can show you. This is our triangle which we created, uh, just created, and we can position it so. Okay. And then we need another one, but we, this is before, this is after, and this one will sit on the right side, and okay, we can, this is both of them, minus 20 pixels, the bottom. And this one will be the other way around. So both the top and bottom will be the same. This can go here. And voila! You see we have two triangles which generate this form, shape, whatever. Um, so we need the color. And this is our ribbon. Okay. Since we use SAS, we can define a ribbon color and use that one there. And then we can Take this, put it here and here and here, and so we can easily change the color of the ribbon once. Okay, and you could have just uh, created one pseudo element and defined this triangle and made it white and overlap the ribbon box, but then you uh, couldn't change the background or you have always had to change the background and the pseudo element of the ribbon. Now it's totally yeah I'm missing a word here. You can, you can choose the background of your body to be a grayish color and it's perfectly fine. Or you could choose uh, blue and it works fine also. So, okay. Yep, yep, yep. We could define a few more variables. Make this even better, I think. Um, we can put ribbon bottom. It's 20 pixels. Oh, missing the dollar sign here. Oops. And then we can choose 
minus ribbon bottom and with this we can change how long the ribbon bottom is. Okay, and we can make this even better. And if we define the ribbon width, and let's say it's 50 pixels, so the ribbon width is 50 pixels. This means our triangles have to be ribbon width. Um, yeah divided by 2 divided. That's the word <laughs> I'm looking for here. And the same here. And voila, looks the same. And now we can say our ribbon is 80 pixels wide and it works. And we can say this is 70 pixels and perfectly fine. Yeah, um, that's it. I think nice uh, thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel I'm willing to do a lot of a lot more videos in the future and if you have any ideas what I could code or explain um, please let me know thanks bye bye